What's going on, everybody, and welcome to another episode of TNC Reacts. Now, this is a pretty interesting one. It's with a single mom who says there are certain steps that you should take and things that you should offer when asking a single mother out on a date. Now, I always find it interesting when women tell you what you should be doing for a first date because they want you to take the lead. They want you to do this, so on and so forth. But then somehow they always have an idea that you should follow. But I'm intrigued to see what hers is. So let's get to it. So I want to talk about something that's been really, really annoying me lately. This is going to be ics about men, but single mom version. So something that's been getting under my skin is men not understanding what it means to be a single mom. So as a single mom, a single working mom, I have my plate full to the maximum, right? I don't have free time. The time that I do have free, I just want to relax. So one, I get it. I'm single. Yes. Do I want to date? Sure. If I meet the right person, right? But if you invite me out for a dinner um, or drinks, especially during the weeknight, come on. You know I have things to do. I'm sure you have things to do the next day. I have a child to take care of. I can't just go out late at night just whenever, right? Um, so you have to take that into consideration. So if you're really going to invite me out, one, make it worth my time. Now, this is where it gets a little interesting because, one, you do have to be considerate of her being a mom. She can't just up and jump and go whenever she's so pleased because she has a child. She has to be really aware of that. But the woman just said, I don't have a lot of free time, and if I do, I just want to relax. Why do these women, when they talk about these things, they're constantly contradicting themselves? That's the most, she talked about what's annoying her. It's the annoyance of constantly contradicting yourself when it comes to this. Do you want to chill out, relax at home, or do you want to go out and have some fun? You know what I mean? And what do I mean by make it worth my time? Just, just don't invite me out to dinner and drinks. Get creative. Invite me out for an activity. Do something different. Do something that's going to be worth my time and effort. I am taking time out of my evening to meet with you, to go and enjoy your company, you know, to see how things work. If we're compatible, I'm making an effort. So I expect you to make an effort. So don't just assume that I'm going to be able to drop off my child somewhere because most likely I'm not. So unless you're offering to pay for the babysitter, what? I'm not going on that date. Also, man, she's out of her mind. She, but you know what? She's not the only one I didn't hear saying, oh, if you want to take me out, you got to be willing to get me a babysitter. If I'm already paying for food, drinks, whatever else activities we're going to have, what makes you think I'm going to pay for a child that's one that's not mine? I'm just meeting you, trying to hang out with you. What You're already trying to make me financially responsible for this child, which I have no control over. I don't get to say how the child is raised or what to do with the child, but you expect me to be fiscal fiscally responsible on some level for this child i'm telling you man this new age entitlement is it man and offer to pay for the babysitter that's going to make me more receptive to want to go and spend my time with would. you of and another thing do not just assume that you can invite me and my daughter out no i do not introduce my daughter to guys that's a no-no so there's that and also don't just assume that you're going to invite me out for drinks and I'm going to show up. Um, what makes you think that I'm going to what? put my safety in jeopardy by drinking and driving? So unless you're going to offer to pick me up and drop me off or Uber me there and back, it's a no on the drinks during the week. So moral of the story is, come on, guys. If she's a single mom, she already has a lot on her plate. So don't add to her plate. Don't make her life more stressful. Don't make her plan out the date that you want to take her on like that's not going to happen you just so it out. all i'm going to say is do better and to everyone asking me out on freaking dates lately literally if the shoe fits then it fits okay that's all i gotta say all you dudes that are asking her out on a date please watch that video please watch that video and don't call her no more because it's amazing how these women can say don't make her plan the date you just plan the date multiple times and then said, not only are you not driving, I got to get you an Uber, come pick you up, which is, I mean, coming to pick somebody up, that's not really a big deal. But you're talking about, I got to pay for your child. And you're not going to meet them. You're, never, you're not going to meet the kid. But you can definitely pay for the child. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the least you can do because I'm coming out because I am going to be there. And then I might not even meet you. So just imagine if just imagine this: if you pay for this babysitter and she don't show, I mean, she just she just hustled you for some money. She probably went out on another date with somebody she really wanted to go with who wasn't paying. But because, you know, he probably looks good or whatever. She's just going to hand up the cookies without no problem while you got to work for it and get ditched at the same time. Boy, I'm telling you, these women are getting more entitled and more bold by saying pay for my babysitter. Let me know what y'all think down in the comments section. And shout out to everybody who's watching the videos. Much love. I appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. And be on the lookout for more videos. All right, everybody. Peace.